Hi there, my name is Wendy and this tutorial is going to show you how to crochet my Christmas stocking pattern. Um, the stocking measures approximately 12 inches long, that's 30 centimetres. It's crocheted on the flat and then sewn together along the back seam afterwards. Um, it's using UK stitch terminology with double crochets and treble stitches and we make some treble stitch shells and we'll also be making a treble two together decrease which we'll show you in the video. Um, the pattern is available on my website as a free PDF download and I'll put the details of that in the link below. Um, we're using UK um, weight double knitting yarn. I've got about 50 grams here in the main colour and a small augment in the secondary colour for the cuff. Um, I've used a four millimetre hook and I have a wool type darning needle to sew up my ends and darn in the ends and a pair of scissors to snip off my ends. So um, let's just move things aside and uh, let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is to make a slip knot. I'm going to wind the yarn around my fingers twice, take my hook and pop it underneath the top loop. And then I'm going to grab the bottom loop and pull it through. Whichever is your preferred way of making a slip knot is fine. As long as you've got a stitch which just slides up and down um, flexibly on your hook. And then I'm going to make 45 chain. Now I've made my 45 chain, I'm going to miss the first two chain underneath the hook and I'm going to make a treble stitch in the third chain. So I'm going to take my yarn over the hook and down to the back of the work and then I'm going to pop my hook through the top half of the chain, yarn over the hook and pull it back through so I've got three stitches on my hook, yarn over the hook and pull it back through the first two and then yarn over the hook again and pull it back to the first stitch. So I'm going to move along to the next chain and I'm going to be working through the top half of the chain. So it's yarn over the hook, making sure the yarn's now behind the work, hook through the top half of the chain, yarn over the hook and pull it back through and I have three stitches on my hook. Yarn over the hook, back through the first two, yarn over the hook and back through the final two. So once more, I'm going to make another treble. It's yarn over the hook, through the top half of the chain, yarn over the hook and pull it back through to three stitches on my hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it back through the first two, yarn over the hook, pull it back through the first one. So I've now made three trebles. So I'm going to continue all the way along the chain in this manner until I've got 43 trebles on my chain. And that is row one complete. So now we're going to make three chain Turn our work, ignore the three chain that we've just made and we're just going to make treble stitches all the way along to the end working 43 stitches in total. We are ignoring the three chain that we made as our turning chain, we're not counting that as one of our stitches. So I'm now going to be working through both sides of the stitch continuing this all the way to the end. And that is our second row complete. We're going to work another 16 rows now in exactly the same manner. So you'll need to be making three chain at the beginning of the row, 
then working 43 stitches all the way along the row. Then continue this way until you've completed 18 rows from the beginning of your work, at which point you'll then be ready to start your heel shaping. Now that we've finished our 18 rows of trebles, we've now created the leg part of the stocking. So when you're looking at this finished one here, you can see that the heel is slightly curved round by working some short rows um, to just move our work around. So we're going to create two little fan edges um, at the side here. You can see this already finished in the photo to the side. And then from there, we'll go on to working the foot. So I'm going to work the first two rows for my heel shaping. So I've turned my work and I've made one chain and I'm going to make one double crochet in each of the first three stitches. So just as a refresher to make a double crochet, we're going to take our hook and put it through both sides of the stitch. The yarn goes over the hook and the hook comes back through to the front and we have two stitches on our hook. The yarn goes over the hook and we bring it through to one. So I'm going to do that again. The hook goes through the next stitch, which is the second stitch of our row. Yarn goes over the hook, draw the hook back through to the front. We have two stitches on our hook, yarn over the hook and then pull back to one. So I'm going to do my third stitch. So it's hook straight through both sides of the stitch, yarn over the hook, draw the hook through back to the front, two stitches on my hook, yarn over the hook and draw through to one. And that is our first three stitches done. So now I'm going to make one chain and I'm going to turn my work and I'm just going to work back along those three double crochet I made and make three more. So I'm going to make my first double crochet my second double crochet and my third double crochet. So that's the first two rows of our heel shaping. I'm now going to work rows three and four of the heel shaping. So I'm going to make one chain, turn my work and I'm going to make six double crochet this time. So I'm going to make three along the stitches that I've just worked along and then I'm going to jump down and continue along on the row below. So I'm going to make one double crochet, second double crochet, third double crochet and now I have this step. So I'm going to go to the first stitch of the row below and make my fourth double crochet my fifth double crochet and my sixth double crochet. Then I can turn my work, make one chain, and then I'm going to work back along the six double crochet. So it's one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, my fourth, my fifth and my sixth. So I've now worked four rows and I'm beginning to get this little fan shape coming out to the side of the work. So I'm now ready to do rows five and six. So I'm going to make one chain, turn my work. It doesn't matter whether you've made the chain before you've turned your work or whether you've made the chain after, as long as you make that chain. And so I'm going to make nine double crochet in this row. So I'm going to work along the six double crochet that I already have here and then jump down to the row below and make my final three. So again, here's my first one, my second, my third, my fourth, my fifth, and my sixth. And then I have this step. So I come down to the row below. So that's my seventh, 
my eighth and my ninth and then again I'm going to make one chain and turn my work so I've just done my fifth row and I'm now going to work back on my sixth row which is just going to be doing nine double crochet all the way along to the end so that's my first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth and ninth and that's rows one to six of the heel shaping now complete we're now going to work rows seven and eight of our heel turn so we're making one double crochet and whereas we just made nine double crochet along the row we're going to make 12 so we're going to work nine double crochet along this straight edge and then we're going to jump down and make our last three along here and this is going to be the longest row of the shaping so i'm making one and two and three and four and five six seven eight and nine and then I'm going to jump down to the row below to make my last three it's one two and three we're now ready to turn so I'm going to put the yarn around the hook and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to make 12 double crochet all the way along the row that I've just worked So now when we look we can see we've got this sort of wedge shape coming out at the side that's curving around so now we're going to start making our rows shorter again um, to take us back down to just working our last row with three stitches and to work row nine i will be making one chain and then just nine double crochet so we'll be working one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're stopping three stitches shorter than the end of the row. So we can now turn our work and work nine double crochet continuing back to the outside edge and so now I'm going to work rows 11 and 12 so I'm going to make one chain and then I'm just going to be making six double crochet along the row again stopping three stitches short before the step so that's one two three four five and six so again we've still got our three stitches here that we've um, not completed from the row below so i've made my six double crochet i'm going to make one chain turn my work and work six double crochet going back to the outside edge 
so that will be my 12th row complete and then I'm going to get ready to turn again for my last two rows which will just be three double crochet so it's one chain turn and then there's one double crochet two double crochets three stopping three stitches short from the row below make my one chain and turn my work again and work my last three double crochets back to the outside edge now that is the first side of your um, heel shaping now complete and you can see that we've got this quite distinctive wedge shape so all i simply need to do now is to fasten off so i'm going to cut my yarn leaving myself about 10 centimeters four inches um, of yarn left to sew in yarn round the hook and flick it through and then i'm going to go to the other side of my work and i'm going to rejoin my yarn into the first stitch and then i'm going to get ready to repeat exactly the same process so i've joined in my new yarn i've made one chain and i'm going to make my three double crochets for row one and two so that's my first double crochet second double crochet and third double crochet make one chain and turn my work and make three double crochets going back to the outside edge okay so that's rows one and two done so i'm going to make one chain and turn and for rows three and four i'm going to be working six double crochet so one double crochet two double crochet and three then I have to jump down to the row below so I'm going to make my fourth one my fifth stitch and my sixth then I can just make one chain and turn and make six double crochet going back to the outside edge So that's the first four rows complete. So now for rows five and six, I'm going to make one chain and I'm going to be working nine double crochets. So it's one, two, three, four, five and six. And then I have to jump down to the row below to make my last three. So that's seven, eight, and nine. So then I can make one chain, turn my work again, and work my nine stitches along to the outside edge. So for rows 7 and 8, I'm going to now work 12 stitches. So I'm going to make one chain and turn my work. And then I'm working 9 stitches along the top of the row below. And then I'll be jumping down to make my final 3 in the row below. that's my seventh stitch my eighth stitch and my ninth and then I've got this step and so I go down to the row below and make my tenth eleventh and twelfth stitch make one chain and turn 
and then I'm making my 12 stitches back to the outside edge which again will be my longest row. And again we've now got our wedge shape taking place here and we're at the widest part of um, the row. So now I'm going to go back down to nine stitches. So I've made one chain, turning my work, and I'm working one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and I've stopped three stitches short of the step so I'm going to make one chain and I'm going to work back nine stitches to the outside edge. And that is row 9 and 10 complete. So for rows 11 and 12 I'm going to make one chain and turn my work and I'm just going to be working six stitches so I'm making six double crochet so that's one, two, three, four, five and six and I've stopped three stitches short of the row below and then I'm going to make one chain and turn and I'm going to miss the first chain and make my six double crochet going on the way back to the outside edge so that's my fifth stitch and my sixth. So I'm now ready for our last two rows. So I've made one chain and for rows 13 and 14 we're just making three double crochet. So that's one, two and three. So make one chain and turn and make three double crochet back to the outside edge. So that is our heel shaping complete and I'd say that's probably the most difficult part of um, making the stocking and what you'll end up with is these two sort of fanned wedge shapes on the outside edge of your work. When we then fold the work in half and you can see this is your outside edge you can actually see that this is now creating the heel shaping and our foot will continue in this direction. One of the techniques you'll need to know for the foot shaping is how to decrease. So we will be making um, a treble two together or it's otherwise known as a treble decrease. So with this, we're reducing two stitches down to one. So what we'll be doing is making the first half of two stitches and then pulling through the loops all together. So to show you how to do this, I'm going to make the first half of a treble stitch. So I'm going to take the yarn over the hook through both sides of the stitch, yarn over the hook and pull it back to three. And now we've got three stitches on our hook and we've made the first half of the stitch. Now I'm just going to reduce it down um, one stage just like you would do when you're making a normal treble and then I'm going to stop before the final stage before we put the yarn round the hook to reduce it back to one. So now I'm going to pretend that that's not there and I'm going to start another treble. So I'm going to take the yarn over the hook Put it through both sides of the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it back through and I now have four stitches on my hook. 
So I'm going to put the yarn over the hook and draw it back through the first two. And now what I have is the original stitch that was on my hook and I've got two partly made trebles. So at this point where I've got these three stitches on my hook, I'm going to put the yarn over the hook and pull it all the way through. And that has reduced two trebles down to one. So we're going to work six rows um, for the foot section and we're going to work those in trebles. So I'm making three chain and I'm going to make a treble stitch in each of the double crochet stitches from the row below. So I'm making one, two and three trebles in that first little step that we had. And then I'm going to jump down to the row below and I'm going to make three trebles there. And that's my third. And then again, I'm jumping down to the row below again and I'm making one treble in each of the three stitches there. And then again, I'm jumping straight down again to the next step, which has got three double crochets in there. So we're making three trebles along there. And then I'm jumping along to this straight edge and I'm just going to make a row of trebles all the way along till we reach the next step. So when I've worked along that straight edge, I'm now back to the steps coming up the side. So I'm going to make one treble in each of the three stitches going along up the steps as well. So I'm just going to jump straight up to that first step and I'm going to make one treble, second treble and a third treble. Then I'm going to jump up again so one treble, second treble, and third treble. And again, I'm going up to my next step. So I'm making one treble, two trebles, and three trebles. And then to my last step, I'm jumping up, making one, two, and three. So that is the first row of six that we're doing. So we've got five more rows to do. So the next row is our second row, and we are going to be making a decrease at each end of this row. Um, so I'm going to make my three chain and turn and I'm going to make a treble two together. So to go through that with you, I'm going to put the yarn over the hook and the hook through both sides of the stitch, yarn over the hook and pull it back to three, just like you'd um, be doing when you're making an ordinary treble stitch. Then I'm going to put the yarn round the hook and draw it back to two and at that point I'm going to stop. I'm now going to put the yarn round the hook again and I'm going to go through the next stitch and yarn over the hook and pull it back through. Yarn over the hook and pull it through the first two stitches and I now have three stitches left on my hook. I have the stitch from the original chain and then I've got one stitch from two partly made trebles. So I'm now just going to put the yarn over the hook and draw it all through to one and that will have decreased one stitch for me. 
So now I'm going to make trebles all the way along until I reach the last two stitches of the row. I've now reached the last two stitches of the row, so I'm going to make a treble two together. So I'm going to put the yarn over the hook, through both sides of the stitch, yarn over the hook and back through, and I've got three stitches left on my hook. I'm going to put the yarn over the hook and put it through the first two stitches. So there is two stitches left on my hook and at that point I stop. I'm now going to start another treble. So I put my yarn over the hook, through both sides of the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it back through and I now have four stitches left on my hook. So it's yarn over the hook and pull it back through the first two and I now have three stitches left on my hook. I've got the original stitch and then two partly made trebles. So I'm going to put the yarn over the hook again and pull it all the way through the lot. And that way I've now reduced two treble stitches to one. So that's my second row complete. So now I'm going to make row three. So it's three chain, turn my work and just ignore the three chain that I've made. And then I'm just going to make trebles all the way along. There's no decreasing on this round at all. So I'll see you when I've got to the end. So I've now finished row three and I'm going to go on to row four, which has got a decrease at the beginning and the end of the row again. So I've made my three chain, which I'm now going to ignore. So I'm going to miss the three chain I've just made and I'm going to treble two together in the first two stitches. So it's yarn over the hook and hook through the first stitch yarn over the hook and pull it through to the front so I've got three stitches left on my hook then I'm going to put the yarn over the hook again and draw it back so that I've just got two stitches left on my hook and at that point I stop and I'm going to start another treble stitch so it's yarn over the hook through the next stitch yarn over the hook pull the hook back through and I've now got four stitches left on my hook so I put the yarn over the hook again and I draw it through the first two and I've now got the three stitches left on my hook, the original stitch that I had and then two partly made trebles. So from here it's yarn over the hook and pull through both of them. So I've now decreased two stitches to one. So again on row four I'm going to work trebles all the way along now till I reach the last two stitches and then I'll make a treble decrease trebling two together again. So now I've reached the last two stitches again at the end of the row so I'm going to make our treble two together our treble decrease. So it's yarn over the hook, through both sides of the first stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it back to three stitches on the hook, yarn over the hook and pull it back to the first two. Then we can start our next stitch. So it's yarn over the hook, through both sides of the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it back through. We now have four stitches left on our hook. So it's yarn over the hook and pull it back through the first two and again when you look you will see you've got the original stitch on your hook and two partly made trebles. From here you can put the yarn over the hook and pull it through to one and again we've now decreased two stitches to one at the end of the row. So that's row four complete. So row five is just going to be a plain row of trebles with no decreasing. So I've made my three chain and I'm just going to work along again, making a complete row of trebles till the end. So 
I've now finished the fifth row and I'm going to work one more row which is, is row six of my foot which is the last row before we start shaping for the toe. So on this last row again we've got a decrease at the beginning and the end of the row. So just to go through that I've made my three chain, I'm ignoring the three chain, I've put my yarn around the hook and I'm going through both sides of the stitch. So it's yarn over the hook and pull it back through. So I've got three stitches left on my hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it back to two and stop. Then I'm going to move on to my next stitch. So it's yarn over the hook through both sides of the stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull through. And I've got four stitches left on my hook. So it's yarn over the hook and pull it back through the first two stitches. So we've got the original stitch again left on our hook with two partly made trebles. So we're going to put the yarn over the hook and draw through all of them to decrease two trebles back down to one. So again, for the last time now, I'm going to be working along my row making trebles until I reach the last two stitches. So I'll see you the other side. So now I've reached the last two stitches again at the end of the row. So I'm going to make our treble two together, our treble decrease. So it's yarn over the hook through both sides of the first stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it back to three stitches on the hook, yarn over the hook and pull it back to the first two. Then we can start our next stitch. So it's yarn over the hook through both sides of the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it back through. We now have four stitches left on our hook. So it's yarn over the hook and pull it back through the first two. And again, when you look, you will see you've got the original stitch on your hook and two partly made trebles. From here, you can put the yarn over the hook and pull it through to one. And again, we've now decreased two stitches to one at the end of the row. And that is the main section of our foot made before starting our toe. When I look at my work now, I should have 36 stitches along this upper edge and we can see that our stocking is now replicating the same shape as the finished one. And we just need to do this tiny bit of shaping for the toe. So as well as having shaping now decreasing at the outside edges here, we're going to have some um, decreasing, some treble two togethers in the center of the work as well. So we've got six rows all together and we'll make a start on that now. So first I'm going to make three chain followed by a treble two together. So now I've made that treble two together, I'm going to make 14 of trebles to take me to the centre four stitches where I will work a treble two together twice. We've now made our 14 stitches, so we're going to work treble two together twice across the next four stitches. So that's my first treble two together made, decreasing two stitches to one. Now I'm going to make another treble two together. Now I'm going to treble all the way along until I reach the last two stitches and make my final treble two together at the end of the row. Now I've reached my final two stitches, so I'm going to make a treble two together here as well.
So I'm going to make three chain and turn my work ready to make the second row in the toe section. So I'm going to make a treble two together at either end of the row and I'm also going to treble two together twice over the central four stitches in the row. Just like before, I'm going to start with a treble two together at the beginning of the row and then this time I'm going to be working 12 trebles to take me to the centre four stitches where I will work a treble two together twice. And then I'm going to make my two treble two together. So this is the first one that I'm making over the first two stitches. So that's one treble two together complete. And then I'm going to do another one. So that's my second treble two together. And then I'm going to make 12 um, trebles along the rest of the row till I get to the last two stitches to make my final decrease. Now I've reached my final two stitches so I'm going to make a treble two together here as well. And that is our second row complete. So now I'm going to turn my work and make my three chain and make my first treble two together in the first two stitches. That's my treble two together complete and now I'll work 10 trebles to take me to the centre four stitches in the row. And tenth and we're back at the centre of the row. So I'm going to make my um, two treble two togethers. So this is the first one, worked over two stitches. So that's one treble two together. And now I'm going to make my next one. So now I can work 10 trebles, which will take me to the last two stitches in the row. now I'm at my last um, two stitches so I'm going to make that final treble decreasing trebling two together and that's row three complete so we're now on to row four so I'm going to make my three chain and turn and make my treble two together Now I can just work eight trebles to take me to the centre. And eighth. So I'm back again at the centre of my row. So I'm going to make two treble two together, two treble decreases. So this is my first treble two together just made and now I'm going to do it again so that's two treble two togethers made in the middle of the row and then I'm just going to make my eight trebles which will take me back to the last two stitches to make my final decrease
So again, we're back to the last two stitches. So we're making that treble two together. And that is row four complete. So now we're going to go on to row five. So I'm making my three chain and turning. And making my treble two together at the beginning of the row. And for row five, we just need to make six trebles to take us to the center. fifth and sixth and we're now back in the center of the row so I'm going to make my two um, treble two togethers my two decreases so this is my first one made and then again treble two together So that's my two decreases made. So now I'm just going to make six trebles to take me to the last two stitches to make my final decrease. Now I've reached my final two stitches. So I'm going to make a treble two together here as well. So now I've got my final row to make. Um, this is going to be row six. And I'm making my three chain. And I'm making my treble decrease, my treble two together. And then in this last row, I only make four trebles to take me to the center of the row. That's my third. And my fourth. I'm now at the point where I can make my two treble decreases where I'm trebling two together. So I'm going to make two treble two together, two treble decreases. So this is my first treble two together just made. And now I'm going to do it again. And now I just have four trebles left to make before I reach the last two stitches of the row where I'm going to make my final treble two together. So there we are, four made, and I've got my last two stitches here. So I'm going to make my final treble decrease. And then I can cut my yarn and then put the yarn around the hook and flick it through. And there we have my main stocking complete. So if I fold it in half now and show you, it should resemble the stocking. When it comes to making the cuff, I'm going to be working along the original foundation chain. So I'm going to join in my yarn at the um, bottom corner and leave enough yarn to darn in my ends. And then I'm going to make three chain, just as I would when I'm working a normal row of trebles. And then in the first stitch, I'm going to work two trebles. And then I'm going to work along this bottom edge, making one treble in each stitch all the way along till I get to the last stitch of the row. I reach the last stitch in this row again I'm going to make two trebles 
in this last stitch to match the very first stitch we made in the row. And that's row one complete. You will now have um, 44 stitches along this row and you're going to work five further rows now of just straight trebles. So you're going to be making three chain, turning your work, you're going to miss the three chain that you made and then you're going to be working a treble through both sides of the stitch. So you're going to now be working five rows of the treble stitch, working 44 trebles along each row and you will end with six rows in total. So I'll now just carry on doing this until I've reached the end of my six rows. So I've just finished my sixth row and I'm now ready to make the shell edging. So for this, I'm just going to make one chain and turn. And then I'm going to make one double crochet in the first stitch. I've missed that chain I just made and I've made one double crochet. So to make the shell edging, I'm going to miss two stitches. And in the third stitch, I'm going to make five trebles. So this is my first one. And then my second. And my third. Now this is all in the same stitch. And the fourth. And the fifth. And you can see that that has made a rather nice shell. So then I miss two stitches and I make one double crochet in the third stitch just to anchor it. And then I'm going to make my next shell. So I'm going to continue along missing two stitches. In the third stitch, I'm going to make five treble all in that one stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then miss two stitches and then one double crochet. So we'll continue this to the end. And when you get to the end, you can just cut your yarn, pop your yarn around the hook and flick it through. And that is your cuff complete. So now all the crocheting is complete and we now have our um, stocking with a back seam to be sewn up and the cuff to be stitched up as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to darn in my ends and then we will stitch our stocking together. A little tip for when you're sewing up your stocking, if you look at your edging, and this sounds a bit back to front, but if you have the right side of your shell edging showing when you stitch up the main body of your stocking, when you turn it inside out, um, the edging of the cuff will appear with the right side facing when it's completely finished. So you have to trust me on that one a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, get a needle and thread, a wool needle and thread, and I'm just going to do some little over sewing stitches down the edge of the stocking, matching up the rows, going through both sides of the last stitches. So you'll be going through the stitches that are in the um, three chain at the side on one side of the row and you'll be going in the treble stitch on the other side just doing little over sewing stitches just to secure it. Um, I do think that it can be sort of a little benefit not making this stocking in the round but making it in the flat and sewing the seam up because it gives a little bit of strength, a little bit of stability if you are putting anything in there. Um, although it won't take anything of great weight, 
it, it, it will give it a little bit of structure. And so you can use pins if you want to, if you feel that you want to um, give it a little bit of guidance. I'm not, I'm just laying it out and just over sewing it as I go. But of course you can use pins. So I'm going to continue now doing these over sewing stitches all the way around till I get to the bottom of the, of the toe. And then I'm going to be coming across the toe as well and securing off. I've now reached the bottom of the toe, so I'm just going to do a few over stitches along here. A couple of stitches just to secure them. And then I can fasten off. So I'll do a little over sewing stitch and I can fasten off and I can just run my thread through a couple of the stitches and then I'm ready to cut my yarn. And now I can turn my stocking inside out. So I've now turned the Christmas stocking the um, right side out and you'll see now that when I pull the cuff down the correct side, the outside edge of the shell edging is showing. So now that the main part of the stocking is um, turning with the right side facing outwards, I'm now going to stitch over this short section here. So I'm just going to join in with some white yarn and again do some little over stitches along both sides of the seam. Just matching it up. Again, you could pin this if you feel that you need to. And then basically from there, we just need to make a hanging loop and our stocking is complete. So just finish my last couple of stitches. And I'm going to fasten off, just going to run my yarn through the edge here. And when I turn it the right side out, there we go, there's our little stocking. So I'm just going to make a hanging chain now just to finish it off. For this stocking I'm making now, I decided to make a hanging chain using two strands of yarn held together. So I measured off three meters of yarn, folded it in half um, and made a slip knot. Then quite simply from there, using the two strands of yarn together, I made with my four millimeter hook, 30 chain. So I've made my 30 chain using my yarn double with the 4mm hook and I'm going to fold it in half. I've secured the ends and just trimmed them down and using some red yarn double I'm just going to do a couple of little over sewing stitches just to secure them together. And then I'm going to open up my stocking and along the back seam, just a row or so down, I'm going to just pull the cuff out the way so I don't catch the white cuff. And I'm just going to do a couple of little over sewing stitches. Just to secure it into place. And any stitches that are showing through on the front of the stocking are just hidden by the cuff anyway. So I'm gonna go through them a couple of times and I'm also going to come, go in and actually come out through the middle 
of them so that I've really got them secured so if they're hanging and holding anything it should be fine right and then I can fasten that off and our stocking is finished thank you for joining me and taking part in this workshop and I hope you've enjoyed it it would be great if you'd um, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos so for now, I'll say happy crocheting, happy Christmas, and see you soon.